Hello. <laughs> now I can eat. After in the first interview. Thank you. Well, besides the trophy pizza and <laughs> celebration, couldn't have gone any better. Back to 115, looking amazing. Uh, you look amazing. Do you feel amazing? Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, I, I'm feeling really good. I know in the first round she won, but my, I listened to my coach and he said, Amanda, remember the strategy, remember your purpose, and in the second round, I put my heart. And you, you beat me to the next question. What was the strategy or what was the talk in between rounds one and two? Because for sure it did seem, if we're being honest, that she got that first round, mm -hmm. was able to light, you know, uh, land her shots, was you know, getting some damage. What was the talk like? What did you do to make these adjustments happen? My dad was saying to me, because we trained a lot the strategy, and the first round I think I was, I was trying just put my aggressivity. And the second round I put my intelligence <laughs> and was to, to fight in, how do you say it? In the left, left side. In the left sides to put my distance and I need to put my game first of her. And in the first round I didn't do that. In their second route, I, I get it, the strategy. I put my game first and work it. And it wa was funny because my dad was talking like this. Ooh, we know her, her, her techniques. We know Bidu is a technique. And Dede, her coach, was saying the same thing about my game. And it was funny because he was saying, OK, Luana, now she will do Andrea. And my dad was saying, okay, Amanda, now she will do Bidu. That is her uh, nicknames for the technique, and the dad knows my nickname. So it was so funny. That's, that's kind of cool that you guys yeah. knew each other's game plan. You could hear it. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a benefit of fighting here in the Apex, that you could actually pick up that type of uh, the back and forth. Uh, we were talking about it here in the media room about those the, the implementing the leg kicks. I was talking about it with Cassandra. Um, once you got that going, you also switched stances a lot with Southpaw, conventional. Did you think that really confused her and you were able to just go forward and really like let your hands go and comfortably? Yes, for sure. I think when I changed this, I put my, my rhythm, my technique, and she made confusion. Because when I change, she may, maybe she thinks, ooh, if I throw some technique now, she will punch me or kick me. And I change again, I change. And in this time, I make myself comfortable to do what I want to do. How was your, the training for this camp? Because your conditioning was unbelievable. You kept a hard pace for 15 minutes. That you, it might have just broke her, which is how you got that finish. Yes, I, I train a lot, a lot, a lot. I train in my city with a lot of girls from Brazil, from Virginia, from Rio, and there is other two girls, one from India and other one from Argentina. They are living in Virginia to help me in, to train, and for sure you guys you will see a lot of girls from Virginia that train in Virginia here in the UFC. Awesome. If they're good enough to train with you, they have to be really, really good. <laughs> Thank Talk you. Talk to me about that finish. Mm -hmm. um, how did you see that head kick? How did you know it was going to land? You, you set it up, she pulled out of the pocket, and boom, it was like a, an explosion. Yeah, it was beautiful because I train a lot, and we can't win a fight without our team, our coaches, because they can see the fight in other angle. And I listened to them, and I did what he made me to do it. And you know when play video game? Yeah. I was doing like this. My dad, X, F1, two, 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 and I did it. Awesome. Well, you won the game. Um, I know there's a little bit of damage on the face, but everything else is okay. How soon do we see you come back or not till 2024? Do you have anybody in mind? Keep climbing the rankings. What's next? Yes. It is a little painful, but just a little. And I, I want to fight in UFC 300 because... I know you'll be whew, on fire, so I want to fight there, and I hope in 115 because I'm feeling good, and I hope 
we after this win I can get better on the ranking because I want a lot of girls that is good on the ranking too and maybe I can fight I don't know um, a girl on their top five or top six and just one follow-up so you're gonna stay at 115 now going forward you this is the, the weight class now 115 Yes, I will fight in 115. If, if, if UFC said, Amanda, ooh, this fight don't will happen, and you can get the fight in two weeks in 125, yes, I'm here. Amazing. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Amazing job. Over to Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I just have one for you. I know we talked a little bit before at Media Day about your opponent and you living together. Did, did any of that, the memories come back when you were in there fighting, or were you able to kind of put it aside for the fight? No. And... At the fight, I didn't remember nothing <laughs> about the time we live it together. But before the fight, I was trying to don't remember because I saw some interviews with our pictures and we were young and it was so good that time, you know. And now I will talk to her because I know today is her birthday and I hope you can eat some pizza or do something. And it's crazy because we will fight, but it is our professional. And I look as she wants to get my, 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 my goal. So inside the cage here, she is my opponent. Thank you. You're welcome. I might have heard wrong. When you were giving your Octagon interview and they asked you about uh, toughing it out in the second and third round, you mentioned, I think, what your dad said to you, but I thought I heard you say that you were fighting for some people that were depending upon you or something. Can you elaborate on that story and, and tell what that was about? Yes, I will cry a lot again <laughs> because uh, in all my camp, I did uh, propose. I said, if I won this fight, I will take the prize and do an institution in my city because you have really, UFC changed my life. Changed not just my life, but my family lives my friends too who train with me and I want to do more, you know. I want to do more for the children that live uh, in the neighborhood of my gym. And I hope I can do it, not, to do, not just for do a good fighters, but to do a good persons, you know. So I saw some children in the street and uh, made some bad decisions because there is a lot of energy. They, they need to, to do this energy in school or in, in fight or in something good. So I will, I will try to do this in front of my gym because I already have the place. <laughs> I just need to conquer it. Do you enjoy being a role model and being able to give back to your community like that? Is that one of the best things that's came out of this platform for you? Just a second. Since I didn't you know. curte ser um exemplo, isso é uma das coisas melhores que você tira desse momento? Oh, yes, for sure. Because I know we, <laughs> it'd be funny to talk like this because a lot of people just talk, you know, and I want to do it because I know I'm here and the, in my life, I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, um, I'm, ju I'm not just here for nothing. Yeah. I know I have a purpose. I know I can change my life. I change the lives using my life because I had a lot of people that helped me a lot, not just my family. And I want to do this. And it's so good when you do good things and you see the children or the other people that does bad things and see you doing good things and try to do as you and work it. So... Uh, yes, this is my purple in my life. I love it. I think that's wonderful. I noticed the sunglasses. How are the, how are the eyes feeling right now? <laughs> it's not, not so too bad. good. <laughs> it's not so bad, though. It's not so bad. Yeah. But uh, the last time I took the glasses off, where is he? Uh, he's not here. It was not too good, but now I bring mine, you know. No, just to... Ah, então pronto. Oh, it looks all right. You're fine. Yeah. I will do some eyes, and I have my physiotherapy here. She will do some massage, too. You'll be good. Congrats on the victory. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Just a question you know, in the back. 
your journey to become an, an MMA fighter can be focused on building yourself and making sure that you meet your goals. At this point in your journey, how important is it for you to be fighting for something else? You talked about this new motivation and wanting to be a role model. How much do you need that right now? Quanto que eu preciso para chegar? É, você é, levou a sua, sua vida inteira até aqui, construindo para a sua carreira. Agora você está achando uma razão nova para fazer isso. É, conta um pouquinho sobre isso. I know if I just fight, I love fight. It, that's true. I know when I was without fight, I was nothing. Amanda Ribas is fight. I love what I do. But I know when I have something more, like if I want this, I can change this. I think it motivates me more, you know? When I was cutting weight because I cut a lot for straw weight, I was like uh, running and, oh my goodness, I think I can't, but I remember, no, yes, I can, because I'm not alone, you know, this is not just for me. <laughs> I think sometimes I think more in other people than me, it's, <laughs> but for me, put me more, I, I made me more strong when I think like this. You're welcome. Thank you, Thank you guys.